Now, I am going to do a review of this Cuisinart um, toaster oven. That's what you would call it. I got this Cuisinart. Um, came with this little tray. And there used to be this program called Biggle. You checked into TV shows and you got free stuff. And I got an, this was one of the things that I earned for watching television. Ah, but you can see you can toast, do a bagel, bake, broil, and warm. And what I'm, and then it's got the temperature settings here. So I am never used this before, so let's see. How do you know? Oh, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to bake. So I turn this little, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's a little raised part and you turn that to bake there. And then you've got your temperature and I need 400. We're going to do tater tots for my little guy. And I'm going to sprinkle some cheese on them when we get done. But I hit the start button. It's plugged in. Oh, okay. It's heating up. I feel it. And anyway, when I come back, we'll see how this works. But I've got to cook them for 30 minutes, and I'll just check back in. Okay. okay as you can see, it is warming up. And since this is the first time to do it, I'm just going to do a few little tater tots. And then when I get done, I'm going to sprinkle some uh, shredded cheddar on top. But that little thing got orange, and I'm not really, like I said, I don't really know how you know when it's at the right temperature. I guess I should maybe, I keep thinking, I, we hardly ever, okay, well, I don't think I've used that oven since we bought it about seven years ago. But I have intentions of doing it more and more as we as we uh, are using the camper more and more, and as we're staying in it more and more, and as we try to transition to becoming at least part timers. Okay, I'll come back in a minute. We shall see. Alrighty, so we're about to take these out of the um, toaster oven. And I moved it because this is a hard plastic cutting board and I just just what didn't want to melt that plastic. Although the sides don't seem to get really hot. Alright. What oh, baby? My tooth is loose. Okay. So let me put these on a plate and we will get our chief taste tester to see what we think. Alright, here we go. All right, here we go. Cheesy tater tots. And this is my chief taste tester. Thank you. You're welcome. You're still pretty hot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about that. So what do you think of this camping place so far? This campground? It's really fun. I like it. We've got the... Let's tell them, tell them what's behind our camper. Um, the water. Is that a creek? Uh-uh. What is it? It's a lake. It's a lake. And what do you do with that lake? Well, you can fish in it. Yeah. You can drive your boat in it. Okay. All right. So I'm going to show them the lake real quick. It's right there. That's Lake Darbone, and we're in North Louisiana in Farmville, Louisiana. Okay, so what do you think of the toaster oven tater tots? Well, I hadn't really tried it. That was a plain one. Oh. But well, was how was the plain one? Good. Good? All right. Which is one one. Done. They're all stuck together. 
like when you melt stuff with the light on. Yes or no? Mmm, not good. Good? Good stuff? Alright. It's really good, guys. Alright, do you want to say later, Gator, or see y'all later? Later there, and see y'all later. <laughs> okay. Bye -bye. So I'm feeling a little creative today, and I'm going to make some stuffed crescent rolls, and I'm going to stuff them with cheeses. I've got some Sargento Ultra Thin Colby Jack, got some cooked ham, some mozzarella, some extra sharp cheddar, and I'm going to just do a thin layer of the cream cheese. I'm going to mix some Tony Sacheries with some butter, and after I roll everything up, I'm going to um, kind of sprinkle this across the top to give it an extra savory kind of taste. So anyway, I'm going to put everything together and then we'll come back and we'll see if it's any good or not. All right, so if you can kind of see here, I've kind of put the Tonys down, just decided not to just to skip the butter. I'm going to just put a spread a layer of cream cheese on each one. And then I'm going to add, sprinkle some different cheeses, the mozzarella. And after I sprinkle the cheeses on there. You got that thing working? Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me pause this for just a minute. So while we were on break, what I did was I went ahead and spread some Tony Sacheries with mixed it in with the cream cheese. I decided to skip the butter Tony Sachery step. Just spread some cream cheese, Tony Sacheries together, went ahead and put the ham. Put the ham on there. And now I'm going to kind of mix up some cheeses. I'm going to do an extra sharp cheddar. I'm going to do some mozzarella. And then I'm going to do one slice of the Sargento Ultra Thin. And just kind of layer it on top. But I'm going to sprinkle cheese here. Oh, shucks. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Okay, so I'm just kind of sprinkling the cheeses on here. This is not exactly healthy cooking, but if you want to join me back after the first of the year, I'm probably going to be starting Weight Watchers. And y'all can tune in to see what... Y'all can tune in then to see what I'm making then. Alright. So... I'm not even going to use a whole slice. I'm just going to half those. And this is the Sargento Ultra Thin. They're Colby Jack. And they're really, really thin. Which I like them for layering on things. And I'm going to bake some um, Chocolate Lovers chocolate chip cookies later. So I just kind of wanted to go for a sweet and savory mix. And I'm just going to roll these up. There. No. I'm using two crescent rolls per stuffed crescent roll. I don't know. What do you want to call it? Stuffed crescent roll roll up? Stuffed crescent roll... Maybe just stuffed crescent roll. So you're going to have four total. I don't know. Can you see this? I'm terrible at this. But anyway. Okay. I'll come back and show you what they look like when we get done. But basically you get the concept. You just roll them up. You stuff them and you roll them. Okay, hold on. Four. 
four total that that made. And what I did is there are eight cinnamon rolls. No, not cinnamon rolls. Crescent rolls. Eight crescent rolls per package. And so I just left two together and I split it up into four rectangles. Because there are just two of us out here camping. I'm going to pop these in the oven. This little Cuisinart arch oven. I'm going to pop them in for about 15 minutes. And then I'll come back and we'll try the finish. I'll come back and show you the finished product. Those are going to bake for about 15 minutes. Oh. All right, where's the cameraman? There we go. Maybe not. Okay, let me let me come back. So these are our cookies. To me, they're a little too done on top, but we shall see how they taste. And those roll, ham roll things were good. They were the best. All right. We'll check back in.